What is the difference between assessed value and fair market value? Let's talk about it right now. Hi everyone, I'm Casey Serafino Lee, Realtor in the San Francisco East Bay. If you think that a home's assessed value and the fair market value are the same, then you are wrong. Sorry. Often, we as realtors, we throw around real estate lingo, and these are two terms that can often be similar, but they're not. There's a big difference between assessed value and fair market value. Let's start with the definition of assessed value. It's a value that's put on a home. It's basically a measure for the county, and in our case, Alameda County. This is so that they can collect taxes based on an amount, so that way they can give it to the cities and the towns for their services, such as roadways and lighting. An assessed value is nothing more than a yardstick to be able to collect taxes on. In Alameda County, I tell my buyers that the property taxes are gonna range from 1.25 to 1.75 a year, depending upon factors such as what city they're purchasing in and is the home in a new development. Generally, when a home sells for fair market value, that is going to be the assessed value, but that is the only time that this number matches. The assessed value will grow a small percentage each year thereafter, unlike the fair market value, which can go up or down every year. In most cases, assessed values are a worthless piece of data when figuring out the fair market value price on a home. Here in the San Francisco East Bay, most people realize that their real estate values are going to go up and down depending upon the market and over a period of years. Sometimes these um, numbers are rather drastic, and as values either rise or fall, some people think that their taxes should go up and down along with them. However, as much as we'd like, that's not the case. So again, how does assessed value and fair market value differ? Let's talk about what fair market value is then. Fair market value is what a buyer would be willing to pay for a home on the open market with no undue influence, and that's important. Don't look at fair market values using Zillow.com to figure out what your home is worth. If you have done any research on Zillow, then you know how inaccurate their home values can be, and you can see that video here. They are a great place to see homes but not necessarily so when determine a home's value. In real estate, we have this term called arm's length transaction, and that is often mentioned, and it's the perfect example for this. A non-arm's length transaction is when a family member buys a property at a discount from another family member. So let's say I buy my house from my dad. Often in real estate, if one family member is buying a home from another family member, they don't always pay what we call the fair market value or what it would get on the open market. In these circumstances, you can conclude that the property is probably worth a little bit more than the sales price, or at least as the person buying, you hope so. The accountant might go and reassess the property and base the taxes on what they deem as the newly assessed value. And again, this happens only if it's like a drastic price difference. If, however, the property was put on the market and all real estate buyers had an equal opportunity to be able to purchase this home, it's going to be concluded that whatever the sales price ends up being, it's going to be the fair market value. And again, to repeat myself, this is the only time that the fair market value is going to match the assessed value. Generally, the fair market value is going to grow faster than the assessed value. There are a couple of additional examples in real estate where there are extenuating circumstances where properties are not sold at the fair market value. A couple of examples might be maybe a couple who are divorcing. They don't really care about the house. They really just want to unload it because they dislike each other that much and they just want to stick it to each other. Um, another one might be a uh, seller who needs to relocate to a job next week. So he just needs to unload it and transfer for the job. Um, or maybe there's a distress sale, like a foreclosure or a toxic dump being built nearby, or maybe a city deemed a new area a flood zone and you're in it. These homes become worth a little bit less.
As a homeowner, the way you determine fair market value is by looking at what other homes have sold around you, what they have sold for. And typically these sales have to have occurred within the last six months. Why is this important? Because lenders and appraisers won't look at homes that are older than six month sales. So we want to do the same thing. The other thing is that homes need to be a similar size, style, and characteristic to be able to use as a comparable. Here's one thing that I would like to point out. If you don't agree with your home's assessed value, there's a process that you can go through to challenge the county tax assessor on your home's assessed value. There's going to be a little bit of research involved for, for you and some paperwork, but if it means saving on taxes, is it worth it? In summary, an assessed value is a valuation placed on a property by a public tax assessor for tax purposes only. Fair market value, on the other hand, is an agreed upon price between the buyer and the seller and how much they're willing to pay for the home. If you enjoyed this video, would you do me a favor? Would you subscribe below and be sure to ring the bell so that you could be notified when I drop other real estate videos weekly? I'm Casey Serafino Lee, your East Bay Living Realtor, helping you love where you live.